Well, good day to you. I'm going to do a favor for a friend here. And uh, I'm going to show you a little sneaky trick. Might save you some embarrassment or some money. I got a call from a guy I know. He lives up in uh, Alaska. Don't ask me how I know him. It's just a long, boring story that nobody cares about. And uh, you remind me six months from now if I got some time on my hands, I'll tell you. His name's George. And uh, he, <laughs> he fixes old radios in Alaska. And I don't know how he finds anything to fix. He, I think everything is shipped in. Anyway, he called me up and uh, said he needed some tubes. And he knew that I had some, but he'd be more than happy to return them. But he had a kind of an interesting antique, which if I think if we're good uh, boys and girls, he'll uh, share some video with us. Anyway, um, it, it might think it's acceptable to ship him some uh, Cunningham 299, or they're probably really 99 tubes, in a nice little cardboard box with some uh, foam. Ha! <laughs> you better think again. The U.S. Postal Service can smash these babies quicker than you could say lickety-split. So what I'm going to do is something I've been doing for years, and I've always got a lot of weird comments about it, but I never, I never thought about it any. Um, and that is, um, I have a kind of a sneaky, indestructible way, almost. It's probably going to, the minute I run my mouth about it and put it on TV, it'll get uh, squished. But it's reasonably indestructible. And uh, since tubes are more mechanical than they are electrical in my book, uh, it's a little tough to ship them. What you need to do is go up to the uh, local home center or plumbing shop and buy yourself, find out how many tubes you've got, and buy yourself some Schedule 40 plastic PVC pipe. That stuff is like iron, only it's made out of plastic, and it's pretty heavy duty. I don't have any, so I need to pop up there, and I'm not going to make a video of me making this. It's pretty dull. But all you need is a piece of pipe about the size of your tube. Then take, the, take it and cut it. You can cut this with a you know, a hacksaw, probably a, just a regular wood saw would work, or a crosscut saw. I use the uh, miter box. I cut it into little sections, and then with some packing foam, I wrap the tube real carefully and slip it inside there, and then plug the ends. Then I'll put the whole assembly inside a pretty nice cardboard box surrounded by a lot of foam. That plastic is so strong that you can drive a truck over it. I helped a friend one time. He got into a pickle. He bought a, a giant safe and it came delivered to the curb of his house. He couldn't get it into the basement. So what I did was I went up to the local plumbing shop and bought a number of pieces of Schedule 40, I believe it was 3 inch PVC, and cut it and used it like rollers like the uh, maybe the Egyptians would do. It didn't phase that stuff. Put some dents in it, but it didn't squash it out of shape. And I've shipped tons of tubes this way, vacuum tubes. I've shipped other fragile items. You can get that pipe up to, I believe, 10 inches, although it starts to get a little pricey. And it's, if you really want to be safe, you can buy plastic end caps for it. And uh, some of them screw on, or you can actually glue them on and make it indestructible. It literally becomes waterproof. So it's a dirty little trick. So George will get his tubes, and... Uh, <laughs> I'll get some nasty gram about uh, dumping our trash on their their side of the country. <laughs> so I thought maybe that'd help somebody. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to send tubes around, you know, but um, this is pretty indestructible and pretty foolproof and reasonably light. Granted, you could do the same thing with iron pipe, but it would be a little more costly. And that pipe is relatively inexpensive. It's pretty plentiful. Every home center, you know, at least here in the States, has it. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world if they're using plastic sewer pipe or not, but uh, if they are, knock yourself out. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Take her easy. Have a great day.